Welcome to the 2022 Graduate School of Education Diploma Ceremony at Fordham University. We extend a special welcome to those joining us virtually. The start of today's academic procession has begun with the traditional ringing of the victory bell. The bell was presented to Fordham University by Admiral Chester Nimitz as a memorial to the Fordham alumni who died fighting for their country during World War II. The ship's bell is from the aircraft carrier Juno, which served in the Pacific before it was silenced by an aerial bomb at Saipan. The bell was first rung at Fordham by President Harry S. Truman on the occasion of his receiving an honorary degree in 1946. Leading today's academic procession is Dr. Eric Chen, Professor of Counseling Psychology at the Graduate School of Education. Dr. Chen is carrying the Graduate School of Education Verge. Caroline Sullivan, a master's candidate in the Division of Curriculum and Teaching, is carrying the Graduate School of Education banner. Next in the procession are candidates for degrees from the Graduate School of Education, founded in 1916 under the name of Teachers College in the Woolworth Building in Manhattan. This school operates today on Fordham's Lincoln Center campus in Manhattan, the Westchester campus in West Harrison, New York, and here at Rose Hill campus. All candidates for master's degrees and advanced certificates are wearing hoods with a gold velvet border. Hoods for the Doctor of Education candidates have a light blue border, while the hoods for Doctor of Philosophy candidates have a dark blue border. Today, we will celebrate 281 members of the Graduate School of Education Class of 2020. Fordham degrees will be presented this afternoon to two military veterans. Veterans who are candidates for degrees are wearing a medallion on a yellow ribbon, a symbol of Fordham's gratitude for their service and of the university's ongoing participation in the post 9-11 GI Bill Yellow Ribbon Program. Fordham salutes all U.S. military members, veterans, and their families, especially those who are here with us today.
Next in the procession are members of the faculty and administration of the Graduate School of Education and members of the Fordham University administration. At the end of the procession are the Dean of the Graduate School of Education, Dr. Jose Luis Alvarado, and the university's president, the Reverend Joseph M. McShane of the Society of Jesus. And now, please welcome Dr. Aida Navarez Latore, Associate Professor of Curriculum and Teaching, our Master of Ceremonies for the 2022 Graduate School of Education Diploma Ceremony. Good afternoon, everyone. Congratulations. Felicidades. We welcome graduates, families, friends, faculty, and staff of the Graduate School of Education, and welcome to the graduation of the class of 2022. I am Aida Nevarez La Torre, Associate Professor in the Division of Curriculum and Teaching at the Graduate School of Education. As we begin our ceremony, please turn off or silence all cell phones and other electronic devices. Please continue to stand for the invocation by Fordham's Vice President for Mission Integration and Ministry, the Reverend John J. Cesero of the Society of Jesus. Good afternoon. We pray, God of all good gifts, we gather this afternoon to give you thanks for the abundance of grace with which you have endowed these men and women who are graduating from Fordham University Graduate School of Education. As they embark on their professional lives, accompany them closely and strengthen their creativity and resolve to educate in the service of truth and justice. May they flourish as leaders who are guided by faith, right conscience, and especially by compassion for those who are marginalized or oppressed. Bless to their families and friends who take righteous pride in their impressive achievements. May they always be a strong source of support for many years to come. We ask these blessings as always, all in your holy name, 
Amen. You may be seated. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Jose Luis Alvarado, the Dean of the Graduate School of Education, who will address the class of 2022. Thank you, Aida. Graduates, this is your day. Joining you today and viewing from afar are those who helped you reach this place. Before we proceed, graduates, please thank your parents, grandparents, siblings, spouses, partners, friends, and others who supported you in your educational journey. Stand up and turn around. Face your family. Face your friends who are here for you. Thank them. You didn't do this alone. You did it with those around you who love you. Now also, I would like for us to take a moment to honor any veterans among our graduates and guests. Would you please stand and let us show our appreciation for your service. Thank you. You may be seated. I offer my heartfelt congratulations to all of our professional masters and doctoral students who earned degrees in August 2021, January 2022, May 2022, and August 2022. We're extremely proud of all of you and all that you've accomplished. And we're honored to count you among our distinguished graduates. There is no question that during your time at Fordham, you worked extremely hard and overcame many obstacles, <clears throat> all, all to reach your exceptional academic achievement. It wasn't easy navigating a virtual university experience that eventually transitioned to hybrid and in some instances, in-person modalities, all during the latter part of the program. You persevered during the perfect storm of pandemic-related impacts as well as historic challenges of racial inequality, inequity in our country. I commend you for your perseverance and grit. The path you chose was not easy. It was tough. Yet the skills you developed, the resourcefulness, the tenacity, the resilience, and patience will serve you well in your professional career. Just as our faculty were incredibly skilled and knowledgeable educators who creatively and thoughtfully responded to your academic needs, you have excelled academically and worked hard to establish a bond with your fellow students. You created networks that will serve you well into your career. As Graduate School of Education alumni, you're equipped with the tools to promote a just society and to advance educational and social equity. With your passion and your love for learning, you will reach even greater accomplishments as educational practitioners and scholars committed to serving diverse populations in marginalized environments. On behalf of Fordham's Graduate School of Education, I wish you a hearty congratulations on your academic accomplishments and look forward to learning about the many ways that you will set the world on fire. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to welcome Fordham's president, the Reverend Joseph M. McShane of the Society of Jesus to deliver his remarks. Thank you, Dr. Alvarado. And welcome all of you to this, the diploma ceremony for the class of 2022. Dr. Jacobs, Dean Alvarado, members of the faculty, staff, and administration, members of the families of the graduates whom we are sending out into the world today, 
and members of the resilient, much-loved, and battle-tested class of 2022. And you really are resilient and battle-tested, let us admit and agree on that. At the, outside, at the outset, I would like to thank the members of the faculty who have made the accomplishments and success of our graduates possible. They've cared for, nurtured, challenged, and encouraged our graduates with a devotion that was by turns inspiring, empowering, challenging, supportive, sympathetic, and transformative. As a result, they have prepared our graduates for lives filled with meaning and effectiveness. My dear friends, I would like to thank you all for being here. I would also like to acknowledge the families of our graduates. I'd like, them, I'd like to sh thank them for sharing the graduates with us. They have inspired and filled our lives with great joy every day. Therefore, we at Fordham are all in your debt, a debt that I am happy to acknowledge and a debt that I could never adequately repay. Now to the graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends, let me begin by saying, and saying from the heart, that you amaze me, you inspire me, you console me. And just why do I say that? Well, for a number of reasons, but one in particular. You are brave oddities in a country that has increasingly come to believe that teachers have an easy job and that they are somewhat out of touch with the families whose children they teach and care for. As for the sense or judgment that you are oddities, well, my friends, let's be honest and admit that you most certainly are. Now, don't get me wrong, but you really are odd, but odd in a special kind of way. More precisely, I would say that you are saving and heroic oddities. And why do I say that? Well, you're not in the profession that you will spend your lives in for either money nor glory. Far from it. Now, if that were not enough to mark you as somewhat odd, you are also people who have a tendency not to look at the clock or to watch out for your own good. On the contrary, you are a reckless bunch who put the welfare of those in your care above your own, and you have an awe-inspiring tendency to forget time entirely as you look for ways to engage young minds more and more effectively. In the words of the prayer for generosity, you are driven day in and day out to give and not to count the cost. Therefore, it could be said that you are true sons and daughters of St. Ignatius. You're more about service and transformative, empowering service at that than you are about self-aggrandizement. You are odd. You're out of sync. And thank God that you are. You're the ones who have an important job to balance things out, to save people. As for the all too common belief that you are out of touch with the families of those whom you teach, both you and I know that nothing could be further from the truth. As a result of the long hours you spend with your charges, you know all too well what makes them tick. You know their joys and their sorrows, their dreams and their fears. Of course, that could be said of all teachers throughout history. But I think that in the course of the past two horrible years, it has proven to be especially true. In the midst of the pandemic, you and your colleagues have shown the world that you are true frontline workers and creative, resilient, selfless uh, frontline workers at that. And if you doubt me, consider what you and your fellow teachers did and did with breathtaking speed and great effectiveness. Deeply concerned with the frightening uncertainty that your students faced every day, you took on new and unexpected roles in their lives. You listened to them. You consoled them. You gave them hope in a time of loss, threat, and confusion. Determined that the challenges of the pandemic not interfere with either their personal well-being and growth or their learning, you, all of you, trained yourselves in entirely new forms of instruction. And armed with what you learned about electronic and remote learning, you built bridges to your students and for them. Understanding that they could feel isolated, you used the wonders of technology to meet them quite literally on their own turf, in their own homes. 
All of you entered into new and life-giving, life-affirming relationships with their families to ensure that they were supported by communities of concern as they walked through the pandemic or suffered their way through the pandemic. Selfless to a fault, you became your students' advocates. Pastors of great heart. I've slipped one in on you there. Pastors of great heart. You believed in your students even when they found it hard to believe in themselves. And you instilled in them the capacity to hope in the face of adversity. Their tireless champions, you helped them to find their own voices and to tell and write their own stories, stories that affirmed their worth and celebrated their importance in and to the world. Holy magicians, you taught your students how to dream great dreams for themselves, their families, their communities, and for the world. When I reflect on all that you have done and all the good that you have done, I beg you to stare down anyone who would dare to discount your importance. There, dare them to look at and into the eyes and faces of those whose lives you have transformed to see if what they have said holds any water at all. For my part, and I say this from the heart, I would have to say that you are miracle workers, doctors of the human heart, and pastors who are necessary, who are necessary in, for, and with our weary world. My dear friends, to my mind, you are noble, unholy companions in the mission, companions who are charged with redeeming and changing the world, one heart, one soul, one student, especially one lonely student at a time. Never forget that. You have a noble and sacred vocation. Glory, therefore, in your identity as teachers. And on this day on which we celebrate you and your rich restlessness of heart, I hope that you will not mind I, if I offer this prayer for you and ask your families to stand and join me in this prayer. You stay seated. Families, stand. Extend your hands in blessing over our graduates, please. God of all wisdom, watch over these, your chosen ones. Walk with them. Encourage them in their work. Nurture in them ever greater dreams for themselves, for their students, and for the world. Give them the strength that they will need to live out their vocations, their vocations as teachers, with wisdom, kindness, boldness, and deep hope. Amen. Please be seated. My friends, my heroes, it is a great honor to have spent time with you. Now, go out into the world and set the world on fire. And congratulations to each one of you. I am jealous of the students whom you will teach. Take care. Thank you, Father McShane. We are now ready for Dean Alvarado to present scrolls to our graduates. We will begin with the master's degree and professional diploma graduates. We will present them by division, starting with graduates from the Division of Curriculum and Teaching. Dr. Annie George Postcard, Assistant Professor of the Curriculum and Teaching Division, will present the master's degree and professional diploma degree graduates of the division to the dean. Gretchen Yvonne Grew. Kylie Maureen Elwood. Kimberly Jenna Schwartz. Julia I. Fahey. Foster Andrew Harlfinger. Priyanka Menen Menezes. Ismail DeCastro. Daniel A. DeCastro Perez. Reza Chowdhury.
Catherine Kelly Randalls. Catherine M. LeClaire. Zoe M. DiMacupolas. Rachel Adrian Felici. Bridget Claire Murphy. Jillian A. Bennis. Jaylene M. Infante. Katrina C. Cullen. Albania Rosario. Tyler Marie Havens. Jasmine C. Nazario. Caroline R. Sullivan. Joshua C. Holloman. Brian J. Conley. Catherine A. Myers. Jessica Kashia. Laura Saracino. Catherine Escobosa. Erica L. Amato. Morgan Ann Bender. Pauline Deng. Colleen M. Bradford. Sydney D. Phelan. Tiffany N. Brooks. Caitlin M. Chiodo. Crystal A. Lopez. Samra Chekich. Colleen Clark. Mercedes A. Savion Vasquez. Lauren Soffin. Kira Veronica McSweeney. Christina Marie Perez. Dominique A. Texera. Zuhaley L. Villalona. Danica Irvine Semexon. Stephanie Levy. Teresa Garofalo. Citarella Kupku. Samara R. Rossi. Karina Vargas. Merlin G. Magana. Robert Burchild. Thank you. Trisha Margaret Alcazar. Christopher Tricarcio. Thank you, Dr. George Puscart. And now, Dr. Terry Orr, Chairperson of the Division of Educational Leadership Administration and Policy Division, will present the Master's Degree and Professional Diploma degree graduates of the division to the dean. Brandon A. Farmer. Asatu Sona. Yay. Thank you. Paige B. McDermott. C.B. Thomas. 
Mariah Usin Seal. Maria A. St. Hilaire. Georgina Nieves. Evan R. Penzik. Elizabeth Moran Doyle. Thank you, Dr. Orr. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Fran Blumberg, Chairperson of the Psychological and Educational Services Division. She will present the master's degree and professional diploma degree graduates of the division to the dean. Ever Henry Ramirez. Yeah. Earl D. O'Brien, Jr. Jennifer Abina Akoto. Marcus Hamill. Kurab Idrizi. Anna Kisleva. Chelsea Tao. Tina Sue. Ariana Ladira. Cynthia Hernandez. Brianna E. Makova. Nella Y. Zaina. Alexandra Remy Goodman. Raina Novelli Miller. Kristen M. Pope. Alyssa Mercedes Villarino. Alexandra Pensado Sendon. Jessica. Toops. Abigail Milza. Rachele G. Hubscher. Alyssa M. Gemma. Emma Savage. Juliana L. Perinello. Ashley C. King. Woo! Chantel Camille Gaynor. Sarah R. Hamilton. Marie Johanna Waldring. Elizabeth M. Capobianco. Sarah Margaret Hayden. Ricardo Perez. Hi, Dr. How are you? Melinda Montesi. <laughs> Naomi Natasha Perez. <laughs> Lydia R. Saba. Kiara A. Velasquez. Melanie S. Gonell. Brianna Nicole Foster. Alicia Boykin. Julia Rose Marsh. Claudia Belmonte. Christopher Barrera. LaShawn C. Pierre. Meryl Nowicki Albano. Liana C. 
Carparelli McCulloch. Ashley Victoria Denton. Cheyenne Tang. Diana Wainata. Wow. Lydia Gallant. Go, Lydia. Maria Garganakis. Rockus. Elizabeth Manueli. Thomas Coppinger III. Brittany M. Angelini. Carolyn Rita Raymond Lawler. Chingla Lee. Karen Sosa. Annalise Beckham Me Rodriguez. Kathy Carolina Antigua. Janine Joy Dwyer. Anna Ursaini. Jerry Ann M. Chishti. Maya Kochli. Kelly O'Keefe Boyer. Courtney Catherine Barrera. Thank you, Dr. Bloomberg. I will now present the doctoral graduates to the Dean and the graduates mentor for Hooting. Approaching the stage are the doctoral graduates from the Contemporary Learning and Interdisciplinary Research Doctoral Program, the Division of Psychological and Educational Services, and the Division of Educational Leadership Administration and Policy. Jenny Alexandra Arrevalo. Dr. Harneet Kaur Sani. Dr. Enrique Figueroa. Dr. Sarah C. Schlusacket. Dr. Marisa Totino Vijali. Dr. Paul R. Sawyer. Okay. 
Dr. Cheres Bandao Grinko. Dr. Michael R. Trerotola. Yay, yay. That's nice. Dr. Stephen Rashad Hogart. Dr. Itong Hope Young Essen. <laughs> Dr. Kabel Moyodin Dosani. Dr. Sarah Ann Cunningham. <laughs> Dr. Hang Yi Chen. Dr. Courtney J. Crawford. Dr. Marley J. Tavlin. Dr. Jamie Page Stain. Dr. Danielle A. Battaglia. Dr. Michelle Lee Boyd Twin. <laughs> Dr. Tasha Alicia Brown. <laughs> Dr. Bridget. Holloman. Dr. Isaac J. Joaquin Del Monte. Okay. 
Dr. Sari Mayer. Dr. Lauren M. Golubchik. Dr. Xiang Chang Yu. Dr. Loni Evan Kusin. Dr. Catherine L. Hernandez. Dr. Viani Orozco. <laughs> Dr. Kenneth J. Krug. Dr. Laura Dubak. Dr. William T. Brennan. Dr. Yuki Yamasaki. <laughs> Dr. Caitlin R. Ferrer. Dr. Maya Bergman. Dr. Nitsen Cohen. Dr. Jennifer Ann Eusanio. Dr. Meisha Ross Porter.
Dr. Rosaline Selena Barnes. Dr. Chandrika Langley Gray. <laughs> Dr. Felicia M. Vinces. Dr. Melissa Ilana Simansky. Dr. Chris M. De Filippis. Dr. Usama Mohamed Sheikh. <laughs> Dr. Madeline A. Free. Dr. Sarah Michelle Sorensen. Dr. Cambria Lauren Litzy. Dr. Erin K. Burke. <laughs> Dr. James B. Park. Dr. Margaret Donegan Maguire. <laughs> Dr. Katrina Maritza Selverine. <laughs> Dr. Kathleen. Marie Schmidt Floyd. Dr. Amy Lee Kaser. Dr. Kerry Levine. <laughs> Dr. Kelly Ann Paplin.
Dr. Janet Warding. Dr. Mika J. Rencher. Dr. Gerald J. Hudak. Dr. Sudani Firestar Del Valle. Dr. Lisa W. Levinson. Dr. Elisa McGee. <laughs> Dr. Amanda P. Marshall. Dr. Carrie Ann Tochi. Cannon. Dr. Kathleen Cannon. Dr. Glenn J. Redpath. Dr. Renaldo Diaz Alba. Join me in congratulating all of our doctoral degree graduates. This concludes our Graduate School of Education Diploma Ceremony. We will soon begin the academic recessional. First, on behalf of the administration, faculty, staff, and alumni of the Graduate School of Education, I again congratulate the class of 2022. I wish our graduates many inspired and productive academic and scholarly engagements, as well as rewards and happiness, both personally and professionally. Graduates, please remain seated and follow the directions of the ushers. A reminder for the doctoral graduates that rented their cap and gown, please return them in the back to the left. Yes, we don't forget anything. Congratulations again, class of 2022. Thank you.